Okay, today we're gonna take, a, um, we're gonna replace a light bulb, the orange one, that it doesn't turn on. So in order to do that, we're gonna take this piece out, plastic piece out, and this screw comes out, and we're gonna access this, take the light bulb from the back, and change and replace the light bulb. This is a 2016 Isuzu NPR. There's one screw in the middle. That's a Phillips screw. We'll take this one out first. What you have to do is, there's get us something sharp like this, and there's a small hole in there. Put underneath and kind of gently pull it up. Once you pull it up. grill will easily pop out. There are one, two, three, four, five of them. Okay, so you have to do gently for all five of them. So you don't break them, they're plastic. Try to put some pressure from the back. There we go. One left, there we go, it comes out. You don't have to take this out, you can just leave it the way it is if you're not replacing the bottom light. Right now, we're just gonna do this one. So we just, there are some other clips in there, so we can take those out. This right here, we can pop it out to take it out. You don't have to, you don't have to. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do it so you can see how is it done. Pops it. Put this aside. Now there are millimeter screws right here. One, two, three, and four. Take those out. Five of those. This should come out. I'm just pulling it down a little bit. This whole front comes out. Now we have access to this 10 millimeter screw again. Take this one out and should be good. Let's see. Sometimes it can be a little tricky. Uh, to replace the light bulb, you got to make sure that you're getting the right um, light bulb. So don't just go again uh, any light bulb. First of all, you make sure that if it's a single connector on the back of it, it has one connection area. Okay, so whatever you take out, you're going to get the same thing. And also there is uh, a number in there. Uh, if you can read the number, it will match the number that you're getting uh, on the package. In this case, it was 1156A. Okay, the brand doesn't matter. It can be any brand. 
So I got uh, two light bulbs and what I like to do is I replace both light bulbs um, because just, you know, light bulbs have the same lifetime. So if one goes out now, probably in a month or so, the other one is gonna go out. So what's the point of, uh, you know, keeping one and doing all this work again in a month? So I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it, especially when it's coming in a package of two, okay? So just take the light bulb out. Try to keep your hands clean when you're dealing with the light bulbs uh, because any type of a oil or you know solvent you might you know uh, take the life of the bulb and make it a little bit shorter we we'll just put the light bulb back it has two nipples in there so it goes in there And you turn and you lock it so it doesn't come out so it comes out lock it in there okay so now I'm just gonna put it back just gonna put it back in here turn clockwise okay so it locks and I'm just gonna connect the back clicks Just pops back in. Everything is its place. Just put the knot back. Tighten it. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the other side. The same thing. Again, this is optional. You can just, you know, change it or not change it. It's up to you. I prefer to change it so I don't have to do this work again in a month or so. As you could see, the other side was kind of hard to get the clips out from the back. It's kind of tight, but you just have to trust your guts and do it. Actually, I can take that out, take this out, light bulb, screw, take it out, put the new one, turn, put it back, twist until it doesn't go anywhere, make sure you put the connector back. sure the wire on the back is not getting pinched and is not gonna rub against anything so it will cut in a, in a... okay so now it's in Now we're gonna just go reverse and do the opposite of what we did before. So there are two little pins in here. Let me just show it to you. Two little pins, one in this side and one in the opposite side. So the the front grill is going to come and it has holes the holes are going to go in here okay we just bring it from the bottom and push it up and then put the bottom screws there we go simple and easy push it up so it's sitting in a place that goes back on. One, 
Everything is nice and tight. Yep. Now we're gonna tighten the screws. Two. Three. Four. Actually, it's not a bad idea before you even do this, you just go ahead and Turn the lights on to make sure everything is working and it should be the way it's supposed to be. So we're going to go ahead and there we go. That one is working. The other one is working as well. So it looks like everything is working. And the last but not least is the wheel. We're going to clear that. And we're just holding with uh, one screw in the middle, but it has connectors over here. And it just pops in there. Okay pops in those clips over here okay so we're just going to align them a little bit and work with it a little bit until it goes in but make sure you put the two bottom ones in first okay and it just goes in by pushing in okay and play with the top ones just got to play with it until they're aligned Not too much to it, but you just gotta align it. Okay, it looks like they're all aligned now. And put this last Phillips screw in that holds the whole grill. So all we needed was a Phillips screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket, and uh, something sharp to play with those uh, clips to get the grill off. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Until the next video, stay safe.